सो टॉपिक इज एम ओ टी वॉट इज एम ओ टी इट इज मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल थ्यूरी मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल थ्यूरी बिफोर दैट वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट द बी बी टी दैट वॉज वैल्यूज फॉन थ्यूरी एंड विस्पर थ्यूरी ऑल्सो बट टूडे और टॉपिक इज एम ओ टी वाई वी नीड दिस थ्योरी लाइक वाई इट्स नीड दैट वी यूज मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टॉक अबाउट द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द बी बी टी लिमिटेशन ऑफ बी बी टी और वी कैन से ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ द बी बी टी इट लाइक बी बी टी डिटिन टेल डिटिन टेल about the molecular orbitals as it told about the atomic orbitals so it didn't tell about the molecular orbitals and it didn't also tell about the magnetic nature magnetic nature and it fails to describe the decolorization of electron in a molecule and it also didn't tell about the stability stability of the molecules so these are the limitations or we can say drawbacks of the vbt so after vbt we are having mot like these all things will be described in the <coughs> mot first of all we will talk about the main postulates of mot main postulates as you can see from the name molecular orbital theory it will be telling the molecular orbitals like before we have studied about the atomic orbitals this will be telling about the molecular orbitals so the first point that is that atomic orbitals will be present in atoms right but the molecular orbital will be present in the molecules so that is the first point if we talk about the second point that Uh, how we are doing the electronic configuration of the atomic uh, orbitals like if we talk about the atomic orbitals it is like 1s 2s 2p x 2p y 2p z so basically this is a electronic configuration of the atomic orbital but if we talk about the molecular orbital atom uh, electronic configuration we are having two types of molecular orbital number one is pi and another is sigma so by these we will be doing the electronic configuration pi m, m, m pi molecular orbital and sigma molecular orbital <coughs> so here after that number third point is that number of atomic orbitals combine they will be equals to the number of molecular orbital form molecular orbitals basically uh, i will tell about the basic that molecular orbitals are formed <coughs> when the atoms are, uh, sorry atomic orbitals are combining and the molecular orbitals are formed so in this point saying that number of atomic orbital how many number of like if two number of atomic orbital for example two atomic orbitals are combining for making the molecular orbitals so they will be make same number of orbitals as they were combined like two orbitals they combine of atomic orbital they will make two molecular orbitals it will be the formation of two molecular orbitals like here 2s and we take 2s these are the two these are the two so here will be also the two molecular orbitals will be there so if we talk about the number 4 point so that will be the so the number 4 point will be as we discussed that if the two atomic orbitals are combining 1s for example and 1s so they will be making two molecular orbitals one here and one here like right? so if we take example like we are having one wave right this is the wave and if we add second wave like this so the result will be the more bigger wave than that but if we minus this wave from this wave this will be cancelled with this and this will be cancelled with this so we will be having nothing <coughs> so basically this is called the constructive interaction this is 
called the constructive interaction and this is called a destructive destructive interaction like here constitution of the wave and here the destructive of the wave so basically i'm gonna tell about like this will be constru constructive interaction will be the bonding molecule but the destructive mo destructive interaction will be the anti-bonding molecule this will be the anti-bonding molecule this will be the bonding like here we will be having two bond two molecules will be formed in the molecular orbital from this is one atomic orbital this is one atomic orbital two molecular orbitals will be formed one will be the anti-bonding and another will be the bonding this will be the anti-bonding this will be the bonding anti-bonding will be having high energy and it will be having low energy right that's why i've written this on the downer side and this is on the higher side it will be having high energy so as we know that it's a rule that if any molecule or atom having high energy so that will be the unstable if any atom having or molecule having high energy it will be the unstable and if it's having low energy it will be the stable right so the one uh, orbital will be the anti-bonding and another will be the bonding in every molecule we will make so there will be the two molecules sorry not two molecules if there are three molecules there will be the three bonding molecule three molecular orbitals so uh, this will be the one will be the bonding and another will be the anti-bonding now here we will talk about the fifth point that when we will combine this atomic orbital they will must have they must have a same or nearly same energy and shape like we will not take like this 2s and 1s they will not make molecular orbitals this will be the wrong if we take 1s plus 1s so that will be the correct so in this point i'm saying that atomic orbital when they are combined they should be have they must have same or nearly same energy and shape after that how to do electronic configuration of the molecular orbital as in previous video i discussed about the atomic uh, electronic configuration of the atomic orbital so here how we will do elect uh, electronic configuration of molecular orbital <coughs> so like uh, if we talk about the atomic orbital we do like 1s 2s and 2px 2py and 2pz right but in molecular orbital how we will do as i discussed before here that it is having two types in the electronic configuration pi and sigma here uh, here it will be like sigma 1s sigma 1s this basically this is a sign of anti-bonding anti-bonding molecule this is a star this is star is a sign of anti-bonding molecule this represents the anti-bonding molecule as before i said it will be make two molecule uh, two uh, molecular orbitals one will be the bonding and another will be the anti-bonding this 1s will be the one will be the sigma 1s and this will be the sigma 1s anti-bonding this is anti-bonding the star shows the anti-bonding after that 2s sigma 2s then sigma 2s anti-bonding then we are having pi 2 pi px then we are having 2 pi py then we are having 2 pi pz after that 2 pi px antibonding 2 pi y antibonding 2 pi z antibonding basically this will be the electronic configuration of the molecular orbital we will like till here we will be writing sigma sigma 1s and this shows it as uh, anti-bonding so after one molecule there will be the anti-bonding and one will be the bonding always in molecular orbital theory there will be the one bonding and there will be the anti-bonding this is the one bonding anti-bonding bonding and this is the anti-bonding so that will be the how we will doing the electronic configuration 
after that if we talk about like <clears throat> it will follow the same rules as the fundamental electronic configuration like in, in fundamental electronic configuration we are having some rules like AFPA as I also discussed about in previous videos AFPA, AFPA rule and we are having poly principle <coughs> and we are having Hanf principle so this will also uh, <coughs> follow the same rules like first electrons uh, first electron will be move in the lower energy then after higher energy then after that more higher energy as we discussed in fundamental electronic configuration after that if we make sequence of this one first we are having like this pi 1s and pi 1s antibonding then we are having pi 2s pi 2s antibonding after that we are having pi 2 pi p p x will be equal to 2 pi p y like the energy of these both will be the same after that we are having 2 pi p z after the 2 pi p y antibonding that will be equal to 2 pi 2 pi py antibonding and 2 pi pz antibonding basically this is a structure of this <coughs> configuration we will write like this <coughs> pi 1s then oh sorry sigma 1s sigma 1s this then sigma 2s sigma 2s antibonding 2 pi px 2 pi py 2 pi pz 2 pi px antibonding 2 pi py antibonding and 2 pi pz antibonding so we will be uh, putting electrons like this First, it will be in, in the uh, sigma 1s, then sigma 1s uh, antibonding, then move in the like this one. After that, we are having like, like if you want to find the electronic configuration F H to H2 is a molecule, H and H. We combine both, that will be the H2. So, how we will like find the H2 <coughs> electronic configuration? basically this is having two electrons so first of all this will be move in the 2s here the two electron and this is completed so this is electronic configuration of the h2 like if you will be having four uh, four electron we will be writing like this and one is anti bonding too so if you are having four example we uh, four electron we will be writing like this if we take example of helium two it is having four electron right so the electronic configuration of helium 2 will be like this this will be the electron configuration of helium 2 after that I will tell you about the now we will talk about the bond order what will be the bond order of the molecules <coughs> like as we said that <coughs> H and H having one bond order so how we will find that one for that we are having one formula like bonding molecule bonding electrons anti-bonding electrons divided by two this is a formula for finding bond order like if you find about the h2 bond order so it is having it was electronic configuration of that was s2 like this so the bonding electrons are two because it's not having extra so it's two bonding electrons and anti-bonding having zero and two so this will be the one uh, one bond order and as you can see here it is having one bond order so like this you will find about the bond order now if we want to find about the any molecule like lithium right if we talk about the electronic configuration of lithium basically it's having six electrons right so it will be like this <coughs> right 
right six, six electrons are completed so what will be the bond order it is having two and two four bonding electron and two anti bonding so bond four bonding electron two anti bonding divided by two so it will be the two it is having one bonding order right after that if you want to find about the helium two so the electronic configuration was 1s2 and 1s2 right it is having two electron bonding electron and two anti bonding electron so this will be the zero bond or right so helium does not exist helium 2 does not exist does <coughs> not exist right it does this molecule does not exist after that if we talk about like we can find any molecules bond order from this formula from this formula after that if, as in postulates i told about the i told about that i will talk about the magnetic nature now we will talk about the magnetic nature of the molecules how we will find about the magnetic nature of the molecule basically we are having two types of magnetic nature one paramagnetic paramagnetic and another dia diamagnetic right in paramagnetic there will be the repulsion in magnetic field there will be the repulsion of molecules in the magnetic field but in diam uh, diamagnetic there will be the attraction in the magnetic field right so in this paramagnetic we are having unpaired electron if any molecule having unpaired electron so that will be counted in the paramagnetic nature and in this we are having paired electrons and if any molecule having paired electrons so we will count it, that will be in the uh, diamagnetic nature if we talk about like hydrogen right hydrogen 2 what will be the magnetic nature of hydrogen 2 it's <coughs> it's electronic configuration is 1s2 right it is having paired electron right like 2 you can see here so that will be the diamagnetic diamagnetic nature if we talk about any other like carbon we can talk, talk about carbon c2 it is having 12 electrons right how will be the electronic configuration it will be the 1s2 1s antibonding 2 2s <coughs> 2s antibonding 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right after that we were having in sequence that was 2 pi e x and that was equal to 2 pi p y right so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this 12 are uh, <coughs> this 12 uh, electrons are completed so this is electron configuration of c2 now how we will find about the bond order i am finding here the bond order of this so it is having 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 bonding electrons and 2 3 4 4 uh, anti bonding so how it will be like 4 upon 2 right so it will be having Two bond order and as we know it is having two bond order right you can see here now how are you finding the magnetic nature <coughs> it is also having diamagnetic nature how because it's uh, in all electro we are having all electron in the paired form not even any uh, if there will be the like oh, this one one will be here and two will be here or two will be here or one will be here so that will be counted in the paramagnetic because if any one electron is also in the uh, unpaired form so that will be counted in the paramagnetic nature so c2 having diamagnetic nature so mot also told about the diamagnetic nature of the molecules now if we talk about the shapes of the molecules how we make shape of the molecules molecular orbitals right as in previous video did we discuss about the shapes of the atomic orbitals so here we will talk about the shape of the molecular orbitals right first of all as we discuss about the sequence that was something like this <coughs> oh 
on the basis of this we will be making this shape first of all we will see the general shape how we can uh, uh, how the shape can be formed so after that we are having 2 pi px then 2 pi py 2 pi pz 2 pi px 2 pi py and 2 pi pz <coughs> like this now the shape like uh, first of all i'm telling that energy level will be like this it will be moved like this like if any um, at the, uh, orbitals are having higher energy it will be moved to the upper side energy level first of all we will uh, do on the base of this first of all one s if we take one s sorry i'm making hairs right if we take one s electron atomic orbital and one s of atomic orbit these are the atomic orbital atomic orbital right now how will we make the pi or oh sorry sigma 1 s this will be the 1 s as i told that energy level move like this so it is having uh, antibody having high energy so it will be moved towards the upper side so this will be the 1s uh, pi uh, sigma 1s antibonding sigma 1s so we are having as i told before that the two atomic orbital combining making same number of orbitals in the molecular it is it combined two atomic orbital it formed two magnet molecular orbitals right these both are the molecule <coughs> molecular orbitals <coughs> <coughs> one will be the anti bond anti bonding will be the upper side because energy level move like this and it is having bonding molecule this is anti bond anti bonding this is bonding now after that 2s right 2s 2s right same as bonding will be on the downer side this is anti bonding this is bonding so this is uh, pi 1 s pi 2 s and this is pi 2 s anti bonding right so that will be the 2 s now if we talk about the 2 p x 2 p y and 2 p z it is having 3 1 2 3 one two three right first of all i am making a structure on the basis of energy level right now how this is as you can see here this is completed this is completed this is completed so this is completed now 2 pi px 2 pi px this is bonding side and this is anti bonding side right 2 px and this will be the 2 pi py this will be the 2 pi p set right these are the 2 pi px 2 pi py this is 2 pi p z this will be the this will be the 2 pi p x anti bonding after that 2 pi p y anti bonding and here it will be the 2 pi p z anti bonding because this side is anti bonding this is the uh, bonding now you can see here 2 pi p x it's here and 2 pi p y it is also here 2 pi p z it's also here and then 2 pi p z x antibonding 2 pi p y antibonding 2 pi p z antibonding this we have so this is a general structure how we will make um, a shape of the molecular orbitals now if you want to find the shape of any molecule right if you want to find the shape of h2 right how it is having two electrons right like sigma 1s two electron configurations like this how we will make 
like one s atomic orbital one s atomic orbital it will be having two molecular uh, orbitals right two molecular or because it's having two electrons or oh, sorry two atomic orbitals so it will be two molecular orbitals two this is a 1s into 2s it is having bonding this is a anti-bonding as you can see here in this it is not having any bonding molecule uh, anti-bonding molecule it is having only two bonding molecules so first will be in this sorry this is like this right so first we'll be moving the pi 1s this is it will be moving the pi 1s first it is not having any anti-bonding molecule because it's only having two electrons right so the two electrons first two electron will be moving the pi 1s as you can see here first will be moving the 2 pi 1s because of the lower energy right so this will be the shape of the h2 molecule now if you want to find about any other molecule like lithium lithium having six electrons right it is having uh, pi 1s pi 1s antibonding pi 2s and pi sorry pi 2s like this not antibonding 2 2 and 2 how will be the shape first of all 1s 1s then we are having 2s 2s there is no space right you can see here i have to make on the another page right this is a 2s and 2s here there is the one two they are having six electrons right <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 electrons are they are completed <coughs> there you can also see a 2 and 2, 2 bonding and 2 anti bonding 2 anti bonding are these and 2 bonding and 2 bonding 4 bonding <coughs> are there so it will be the shape of, of this uh, lithium uh, molecule will be like this so this was the molecular orbital theory that discuss about the shape of the molecular orbital <coughs> and we have also discuss about the postulates of it and we also discuss about the bond order and magnetic nature also and limitations of the VBT.